Okay, so YouTube is planning to introduce something called the hype to help boost small creators and well the entirety of how this works is beautifully explained on the street. But this gave me a thought. Where does hype go in the internet like button hierarchy? Well, to understand what I'm on about, we start off with thumbs up. Thumbs up is the oldest form of like on the internet as far as I'm aware. It's why you see it on YouTube, Facebook and most websites on the internet. It's the default when it comes to like buttons. In YouTube, there aren't animations on the shots like, but on long form videos, you get those fancy animations like this. Facebook, meanwhile, the oldest website here, has simple likes, but you can drag upwards to select different emotions. However, the main point to note here is that Facebook has a clear distinction between like and love, with the heart button being the representation of love, and universally too, heart symbols are shown as a sign of love. This means the heart is a level above the thumbs up. This is why websites with heart as their like button don't have dislike buttons, as you can see here in Instagram and Twitter. This is to emphasize that if you press the heart button, it's not just a normal like, but it's like you really like it or love it. This probably explains why websites like OnlyFans also got heart as their like button. However, funnily enough, Imgur also uses heart, but it's like a favorite button. So to save posts for later, like a bookmark. So that's like an odd use case. However, this does segue onto the upvote or up arrow button. The upvote button is probably the most aggressive form of like button. Both in Imgo and Reddit for example, this button matters more than the title or the post or the content of the post itself. If the post has a lot of upvotes, it will be pushed to the front no matter the type of content because it has been voted by the people. Thus the upvote is a bit more democratic rather than just an algorithm feeder. This also means like in real life politics, the upvotes can be used to abuse one's power. So Reddit added an extra layer with its award system to ensure this is not abused and to give Redditors an extra bit of boost. So when you look at hierarchy of like buttons, it looks like this with the thumbs up being the lowest followed by the heart and the upvote. So if you followed along, you would have realized the hype is above all this. Pretty much akin to the Reddit award system in this case. Now that means like Reddit awards unless your viewers got money then hype is not exactly going to be helpful to you in the long run, but you will get short term boost still. However, if your viewer does have money, then there is one more level above these that matter to create us more. It's the YouTube tanks or super tanks or PayPal pay, cause this gives money to creators to make better content. So if you like my content and spare some change, feel free to help me out, link in the description. So my point is, if you're watching this, don't pay for hype. Use all the free hypes you get or you got once hype is available on YouTube. And if you want to support more, drop a super thanks instead or pay on PayPal.